कुछ भी शुरू करने के लिए हमारा महान होना इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है लेकिन महान होने के लिए कुछ शुरू करना इट्स वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मोहम्मदुल्ला एंड आई एम योर इंग्लिश टीचर इन इस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट सब्जेक्ट एंड predicate so what are you waiting for let's get started in this video we're going to understand subject and predicate A sentence has two parts subject and predicate Let's understand first what is sentence If I say I am Is this a sentence No it's not a sentence why because it doesn't make any sense if i say i am muhammadullah now it makes sense to you so a group of word which makes sense is called sentence and a sentence has two parts subject and predicate so this is what we are going to understand in this video so let's understand first subject what is subject a doer of an action is called a subject a doer of an action is called a subject what is doer let me give you an example first adil is playing football who is playing football adil adil is playing football so he who is the doer here adil adil is doer he is doing something what is he doing he is playing football so by asking the group of these words we may get answer who is doer is playing football who is playing football adil so adil is the doer so doer you may call adil doer or subject a doer is a subject is playing football if you ask these group of words who who is playing football the answer of who that is adil is the doer is the subject so it's very simple you just need to ask the question who the answer will be the subject okay this is the one way to find out subject but sometimes the situation will, will be different you may not find doer always in a sentence so what you will be do doing in that case if there is not a doer so here is the another definition to find subject any person or thing that is described in a sentence is called a subject any person or thing that is described in a sentence is called a subject see in this case 
Laughing is a good therapy. This time laughing is not a doer here. He, is he doing something? No, he is not doing anything. But then in this case, you have to ask the question to the group of these words. Is a good therapy. What is a good therapy? Laughing. So these group of words are describing about what? About laughing. Is a good therapy. These are a group of words which are describing about laughing. Predicate. Now let's understand what is predicate. The predicate tells us about subject. The predicate tells us about subject. What is subject? See here, Adil is the subject here and laughing is the subject. So, those group of words which are describing about Adil and here laughing are called predicate the group of words is playing football these are the group of words they are describing about adil so these group of words are called predicate is playing football are predicate here is a good therapy is a good therapy these group of words are predicate in this case so the predicate consists of a verb which may be one word or a phrase see here is playing football there is a verb so these group of words are called predicate in this case is a good therapy these group of words are called predicate it might be a single word like in this case I eat it's a complete sentence eat is just a single word so I is the subject here and predicate eat is the predicate but it's just a single word he eats an apple daily in this case there are a group of words eats an apple daily eats an apple daily these are group of words eats an apple daily so a group of words is called phrase eats an apple daily Now, let's solve the exercises. Underline predicates in the following sentences. Here we go, the first example. Ankita is my sister. You have to underline what? Predicates. You have to underline predicates. So what you need to do, you have to find out the subject first. Is my sister. These group of words are describing about, about whom? About Ankita. So these group of words are describing words. So these is my sisters are predicates and Ankita is subject here. So you have to underline is my sister. The sun rises in the east. The sun rises in the east. 
you have to find out the subject first so that you may underline the rest of the word. The sun rises in the east. What rises in the east? What rises in the east? Rises in the east. These group of words are describing about what? About the sun. So the sun is the subject here and rises in the east are a group of words which you may call predicate so you have to underline rises in the east here let's see the third example they play cricket in the evening who play cricket in the evening they they play cricket in the evening so play cricket in the evening these group of words are describing about they. So they is the subject here and play cricket in the evening are predicates. Let's see the fourth example. A fat man cannot run fast. So don't eat too much. Don't get fat. Otherwise you, you cannot run fast. Okay. All right. A fat man cannot run fast. Who cannot run fast? Who cannot run fast? A fat man. So what is the subject here? A fat man. A fat man is the subject and cannot run fast. These are the group of words which are describing about the subject. A fat man. So cannot run fast is the predicate you have to underline cannot run fast let's see the last example my father goes to office who goes to office who goes to office my father so what is the subject here my father goes to office or group of words which are describing about my father so my father is a subject and goes to office are a group of words which you may call predicate so you need to underline goes to office so you need to solve this exercise and send it to my whatsapp number here this one is my whatsapp number you need to send this exercise to this number all right okay so that's all for today's lesson